Hello and welcome back. This time I am doing the double cutlass and Corona staff dungeon raid. Uh, these cutlasses are super rare. Um, one of the last things I actually found out about that actually exists. Uh, I, I didn't know these things existed for a very long time, well after I became level 50. Um, but little did I know, a couple other people had them and shared them, so I, I searched my fabricator, the, uh, let's see, what, 70 pages, 77 pages of, of stuff, and I eventually found this matching pair. Um, there's a cool, if you get critical on these sabers, uh, cutlasses, it looks even nicer. However, I found a match with these two, so I'm going with these, even though the handles aren't the exact same. Um, I'll show you what they do. So this one, 82 damage plus elemental damage. Uh, and then the other one over here is 81 damage plus monster damage. And you can see they're both rare. I don't think you can find a legendary version of a Cutlass because these are all the Cutlass models, but they're also Saber models. Uh, oh, looks like, wow, I might be wrong here. Oh, yeah, wow. I didn't even know I had this. That looks pretty freaking awesome. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to go for the matching fit. Go for the monster damage. I don't need ice particularly. Um, so you can get legendary Cutlasses. Sounds like they're extremely rare, though, because I only have one out of the almost 100 pages of weapons I probably have because nine pages here and 77 there getting close to 100 so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and run it with this loadout uh sabers just like swords I mean I guess these are cutlasses but you can't throw them so that's why I have the chrono staff in case we come across long range stuff um let's go ahead and do I think I did underworld last time and then I did sandstorm and vile halls I'm gonna go for a lava forge run with these i think that'll be that'll be pretty fun um okay so let's see Ooh, interesting on both fronts uh i'm gonna go for the bigger one i think this one's a little bigger i'm gonna go right first and then i'm gonna take the left and go to the very end i'm, I'm assuming that's the very end do that tier six difficulty and get right to it <sighs> the usual throw see if i can get it outside of the, the thing nope too bad um but yeah so i i've made a couple ooh, here we are made a couple tutorial videos uh i hope some people are getting some value from that i have a feeling that most of the player base is already level 50 or at least very high level and so these tutorial videos I'm making or walkthrough videos probably aren't very helpful to those people. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep the tutorials and walkthroughs to a minimum. Oh, cool, legendary shield. Because I think uh, most people like the, um, let me get that gold. Most people like the loadouts when I just try different loadouts because they probably either don't have as many weapons as I do or the loadouts are just not the same. This guy. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check. Ooh, we got a spider. My gosh. Got him. Um, but yeah, so... I will still try to, you know, vary my content. I think I like finding different loadouts a little bit better than uh, doing walkthroughs. But mixing it up is fun. Honestly, whatever I do, um, or whatever viewers want. When I'm in this game, I'm having a good time, so doesn't really matter what I end up doing. Okay, what do we got here? So, okay, exploding head. Definitely <laughs> throw a sword at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're missing. Ooh, this is tough. Come on. I need to learn how to throw. There we go. Kill that bat, and then not get killed by these guys. Ooh. Okay, good. Now, spider, jump at me. Thank you. Oh, and I did not notice there was a exploding head coming at me. Kill this guy real quick. Oh. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I had the critical perk. I might have said in tail earlier. But I meant critical. Uh, somehow I missed that spider. There we go. Oh, jeez. I'm going inside this guy. Cut 
his legs. And yeah, my boundary is a little, a little wonky right now. For that guy. But yeah, cool thing about these cutlasses, they have some great range. Um, also, where's the last? Oh, it's a spider all the way over there. Come here, spider. See if I can stab this guy. Come here. Nope, I definitely cannot stab that guy. That was pretty lame. <laughs> the, uh, the stab in this game is pretty weird. Dude, what is he doing? Okay, well, he glitched out or something. Let's see if we have, do we have anything else? What? Okay, another. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's, it is hard. I guess the weapons weren't designed to stab like this, or I just suck. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the case, um, that I, I just don't know how to stab because, you know, I'm not not a person that stabs stuff on a regular basis. Um, do I have, I have nothing in my inventory. Um, I was thinking about going down, oh, you know what, there's a key. Yep, always a key right there. So I can get that chest. However, I think I just, oh gosh. No, I'm already confused. I think I have to backtrack at some point anyway, so I'm just gonna go into the next next place. Oh, no, I don't have, I, uh, confusing myself again. I do have to backtrack. Okay, come here, ooh, explosion. 100 health, even though I got hit. Here. Um, all right, let's kill this bomber. Real quick, don't even have to, you can't even really, oh my gosh. Come on. Hmm. Seems like these cutlasses don't carry a lot of weight to them. I'm gonna slow this guy. Wait until I can run at him. I'm stuck right now. Come on. Okay. He's about to spin his web around me. Alright. Oh my god, that guy. Do a little jump kill here. Nah, didn't get the, the kill. Just got the hit. Kill this guy and this guy. Yeah, no, you, you do feel like a samurai when you do this. The, the double cutlasses, the dual wielding samurai. It's pretty, pretty awesome feeling. so awesome here now. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. And I gotta gotta find me some more keys. There's a key. Perfect. I speak it into reality. Um, there we are. Give me the chest and yeah I will have to go back to at least get a key, get the skeleton key to open that gate right there. Uh, legendary mace, cool, I love maces. But now, now that I know that you can get legendary cutlasses, this is what I'm hoping for. And this is what, yeah, no, I, I really hope I, I can find some more of these amazing weapons. I'm gonna go down here, because I didn't go down here yet. Hopefully I find a map at some point too, because this was a fairly confusing dungeon. I, I think I confused myself more than I need it to be. Oh, come on. And so, what I'm also noticing is if you accidentally cut, uh, or you accidentally hit the enemy's weapon on the way to, let me just do this, um, you hit the enemy's weapon during your swing, it will stop all of the momentum that you have. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, in, in real life, I'm still swinging through the whole way. So I'm swinging through the enemy. Even if I hit their weapon, I, I continue to swing. And so it's a little weird in the sense that um, you just, you're, you're swinging through to do absolutely nothing. Because um, I think what I was saying is, is it stops the momentum. Let's see if this spider jumps. Oh. Um, but yeah, because it stops that momentum, uh, you do a lot less damage, is my theory. I actually don't know that for sure. So give me my weapon here. And, as you can see, 
couple times the weapons are falling out of my hands because of the collision. Uh, kind of what I'm talking about as I swing through them, because the blade doesn't actually go through their body in the game. It doesn't, uh, instead of just registering as going through the enemy, it registers as colliding, and as I walk by, my weapon goes away. Let's see what I get. Ice staff, definitely don't need that. I already have an ice staff. Uh, at some point, I'm thinking they're going to come out with perks on the staffs. That was something kind of hinted by the developers, or at least by one of them. And so that'll be, that'll be pretty cool. All right, jump to this thing, grab that, and then jump over here, get that key. Um, what do we have down here? Oh, yes, the map. I want that. I don't even care if there's other chests to open. I just want to... I just want a map for this dungeon because it's confusing. Okay. Oh, wow. It's really not confusing. I'm at the end of this side. Now all I need to do... Oh, I was supposed to go right. That's right. I also didn't look at the weapon. That's okay. Um, also, always have a key there. Um, so yeah, that's a, a good place to go into. And because I had a key there, I can open this. Also put that map down so I can look at it. Um, but yeah, so... I just got this chest, now I just have to loop back around to get back in there, because I, ooh, rare axe, cool, um, but I just got the skeleton key, so I'm good to go there. On that front, there's always a key right here, and we're good to continue. Voila. And then, oh yeah, this, this update that's coming out pretty soon, they hinted in Twitter as well, uh, that, or X, whatever the frick they call it, um, but the developers hinted that there's going to be different key locations so i'm always able to tell like oh this there's there's going to be a key right here there's, there's a key right there there's keys everywhere and sometimes those are guaranteed keys actually i think most of the time they're guaranteed and so i don't really have to think i just go right to the key but now that they made it or they're making it randomized there will be more locations that the key can potentially spawn at so I'll ha actually have to search the dungeon uh, as a high level, as an experienced player, rather than... Uh, I like that, that weird. Uh, but I'll have to search rather than just going, <laughs> going straight to it. Okay, this is going to be weird. What? No! Okay. <laughs> you really got to throw the sword hard. It is not meant for throwing. Uh, that is for sure. All right. Um, I came from that direction. There's a little little place I can go to here. And I'm gonna do this little side side thing. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna test out if I can use this as a light. Oh, you can. That's what people meant. So I, in another video, I, I was uh, saying that people were lying about the staff. I, I didn't mean it that way, but um, I thought that the light was emitted from this, but as you can see, like even if it's on the floor, it's still completely dark. But if you use the beam, the beam emits a light. That is kind of freaking awesome. So, yeah, and it doesn't waste your your gems, so you can just continuously do it. So, good to know, good to know. Tips and tricks that I didn't even know as a level, whatever the heck I am, 50 plus a million, if they kept leveling after. Um, all right, and kill zombie, give key. Um, another awesome thing I saw in the Discord, a little discussion about endgame content uh, that was prompted by the, um, the polls, where there was like, there were five options of the developers asking, what do you want to see in the next update? Uh, what do you want to see come out first? And one of them was endgame content. People didn't really know for sure they didn't have a, a clarified uh they didn't have it clarified of exactly what end game content meant and so we're going this way um so one person had a, a very long drawn out discussion that kind of turned into an argument but that's fine um not even one of the developers but the community manager which i, I mean i feel I feel like he can kind of be considered a, a developer. He's pretty active, and I don't know how close he is to the developers, but it seems like it's pretty close, uh, he or she. 
But yeah, so that person, that community manager was saying how um, end game content is basically additional content and difficulty. Uh, they, they specifically mentioned difficulty being harder for higher levels. Why is this guy not jumping at me? Sometimes I just don't understand. Um, but yeah, so they mentioned the life potion, the, the difficulty, higher difficulties. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and like raids, I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what everything was. Um, but it, it seemed pretty awesome. I'm full on gems. That's crazy. Bye, gem. I could have brought that into here, but that's okay. And I might, oh, you know what? I might start using the gravity staff instead of the chrono staff uh, when I do these double swords. Just because, I think, uh, what I was thinking with the gravity staff before is that it just doesn't, doesn't help whatsoever with ranged enemies. But it definitely does. Um, also throwing that battery. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, Gravity Staff, while I still think the slow, the Chrono Staff is much better than the Gravity Staff because it allows me to just completely demolish a slowed enemy, um, at the same time, you can kind of demolish a, a Gravity, Gravity Staff enemy because you can, when you throw them, they are then on the ground, um, and basically incapacitated for you to do whatever the heck you want with them. Come on, come on. Why is he not dying? I guess my swings weren't big enough or fast enough. It's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try, try gravity staffing some double swords. And maybe I'll try some more combination loadouts. Lately, I've been doing a lot of only using two specific weapons or one like only using the bow something like that oh come on kill this guy before you know what let me put a gem on the staff real quick just in case i need that and this dude the devourer let this guy rush and then kill him Ugh. that guy okay we're doing mighty fine yeah, no, the amount of range that you have with these cutlasses is just awesome. As I say that, I'm totally with the, uh, the zombie, but I guess it's kind of harder. Oh, you know what? Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can kill this guy without the chrono, chrono staff here. So if I get close, he's going to start to chase me. Come here. Okay, yeah, so he does that. Okay, well, that's no fun. <laughs> My critical perk was too powerful. Oh, well. Um critical exo perk uh but yeah so he you saw he like charged he kind of chomped at me went meh and then i backed up and i hit him uh and it doesn't matter how close i get to him i could be like inside of him and not get eaten while he's not chomping but right after that hit i was gonna back up and then he would chomp again and i'd hit him after that chomp because i'd space out enough so uh, as you can see it's it's easy to um, to space out your opponents and kill them just because um, their attack patterns are not very difficult to see, uh, to, to, I guess, predict. They're, <laughs> they're, not, they're very predictable attack patterns because they're, they're kind of made that way. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's okay. Um, I think the end game content that was also mentioned from Yokai, the community manager, is that uh, there will be more attack patterns on some in like dungeon raids and the end game content. So, and, and you can only access the end game content as a level 50, I think is how they were making it sound. So, it seems pretty cool, and hopefully, uh, that gets added for most of the people that are in that end game level and. The people that aren't at endgame, this <laughs> this game is amazing enough to get you to the end game. And then when you have uh, the, I guess, motivation to start or to get to the end game, uh, just having all those features that get unlocked at the end game will help people 
play this game a little bit more and get to that end game and then once they're at the end game play the game even more because it's amazing and I still play this game a lot but I might even play it more once end game content comes out um, so yeah I'm excited to see what happens and other than that hope you enjoyed the video and my little ramble at the end leave a comment and I will see you next time peace